Okay, we're going to look at solving another 2 by 2 linear system of equations with constant coefficients, homogeneous system. So we're going to need two linearly independent solutions to build our solution space here for the general solution. And so this is one that will have repeated eigenvalues. You wouldn't know that until you get into the problem and find that it has repeated eigenvalues, but that's the point of this problem is to provide an example of that for you. Okay, so to start with though, you wouldn't know that, so you're just going to find the eigenvalues. Set the determinant equal to zero. Be careful with your signs. All right, so when I FOIL this out, I'll have a, a lambda squared plus five lambda minus lambda, so plus four lambda, and then a minus five plus nine, so plus four. This factors into lambda plus two twice, so you're going to get lambda equals negative two twice. Okay, so um, when we have an ordinary real valued eigenvalue, we start by finding the eigenvector or a basis for the eigenspace for that eigenvalue. So we're going to go ahead and start with that, but that's not where we're going to finish with this one. So we're going to have to do some other stuff as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and plug in the lambda equals negative 2 and find a basis for the null space of that matrix. Uh, all right, so um, we will have 3, negative 3. 3 and negative 5 minus negative 2, so negative 3. And so again, we, if we write out the definition of null space, it is the set of all vectors such that this matrix times the vector will equal the zero vector. Pretty quickly though, you get to that system of equations, 3a minus 3b equals zero, and then the second row will give you the same equation again, which is what you're expecting, same equation twice. So uh, those are both can be rewritten as a equals b. So any non-zero vector with a equals b would be an eigenvector to go with this eigenvalue. So for example, I could use 1, 1. Okay, so when we had distinct real eigenvalues, we just did that and then we did the other one and then we basically wrote down our answer from there. This does give us a solution to the system of differential equations, but the problem is it gives us only one solution to the differential equation and I really need two linearly independent solutions to generate all the solutions. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use a different color here so I can find it easily when I wanna come back to it and write down one of the solutions though, the one I get from here. Uh, so I'll have 1, 1 times e to the negative 2t. So that is one solution to this system of differential equations that I'm going to use to build my general solution. So the issue is where do I get the other one? And so there is an expression in your notes about generalized eigenvectors and being able to write expressions for that. Um, so we're just going to follow that same process. We went through one example in class and here's another one. Okay, so we're going to start by looking for, looking at powers of a minus lambda i and choosing vectors in the null space of that matrix. So we already have a minus lambda i to the first power here and this is a vector in the null space of that matrix. But I'm now going to look at the next higher power of a minus lambda i, so a minus lambda i squared. So that's this matrix squared, and that doesn't mean square all the entries, it means take that matrix times itself. Okay, so you do the matrix multiplication, you're going to get 9 plus negative 9, so 0, negative 9, plus 9, 0, 9, plus negative 9, 0, negative 9, plus 9, 0. 
Okay, so when I think about the null space of this matrix, so the set of all vectors that would multiply times this matrix and give me the zero vector, that's, that's everything. Every vector times this matrix gives you the zero vector. So when I think about all two by one vectors that can multiply times this matrix and give me the zero vector, uh, that's a two-dimensional null space. I essentially have two free variables. Both A and B are free variables. So I need two linearly independent vectors that will form a basis for the null space of this matrix. Any two vectors I write down that are not scalar multiples of each other will work. It will be helpful if one of them I pick is this one. So I don't have to pick this one but it will be helpful if one of the vectors I choose is this one. All right, so I'm gonna pick any two vectors, any two two by one vectors that are not scalar multiples of each other. So for one of them, I'm gonna pick this one that I got from over here. And then just some other non-zero vector that is not a scalar multiple of this one. So pick the easy thing, how about one zero? Okay, so those two vectors form a basis for the null space of this matrix. The null space of this matrix is all of R2. So any two linearly independent vectors form that. All right, and then we had a formula which really comes from a Taylor series expansion, but it is a formula for kind of using these to build solutions for the system of differential equations. All right, so I'm gonna just write that down uh, for my first one here, and it actually will connect back to what I have over here. One of the solutions is going to be e to the lambda t, so e to the negative 2t, times uh, a minus lambda i to the first power times my vector times t to the first over one. So if you have higher ones, you might end up with t to the second over two factorial or t cubed over three factorials. You've got a Taylor expansion here, but this is to the first power here since I just have a chain of length two here. And then plus, uh, sorry, not no more a minus lambda i, it's just my vector times uh, my e to the 2t, which is there. Okay, so because I chose this 1, 1 vector to be in the null space of a minus lambda i, that means that this a minus lambda i times that vector, this part will multiply to be zero. That's what it means to be in the null space, is that when you take that matrix times that vector, you get the zero vector. So this part will all drop out and I will just get 1, 1 times e to the negative 2t, which is what I had over here. So that convenience of choosing this vector to be in that prior null space just gives you, again, kind of what you had before. This maybe is a step you can skip as long as you realize which one you're able to skip here. All right, and then the second one, though, will come from here and will give me a new solution. All right, so I'm going to have my matrix A minus lambda I to the first power. I'm going to go ahead and write down that matrix here. Making sure I get all the negatives in the right places. Times my vector, 1, 0, times T to the first. So A minus lambda I to the first times my vector times T to the first over 1 factorial, if you like. And then plus... Uh, a minus lambda i to the zero, which is just one, the identity matrix, times my vector, in this case it's one zero, times t to the zero, which is just one. All right, so this is that Taylor series pattern here. All right, so this is another solution. Generally, we probably will want to go ahead and simplify all of this stuff that I have here in the parentheses. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify that and then write my other solution down here. So my x2 is e to the negative 2t times, all right, when I do this matrix multiplication here, I will have 3 plus 0, so 3t, and then for the first entry in the second matrix, plus 1. So 3t plus 1. 
And then for the second row here, I'm going to take this row times this vector, so 3 times 1 plus negative 3 times 0, so 3t plus 0. All right, and so there you can verify that this actually is a solution to the original system. And so I've got two linearly independent solutions to the system. So then I can write my general solution, which will be C1 times one of them. I'm not going to write the whole thing here, but C1 times whatever I have for my X1 plus C2 times whatever I have for my X2 here. And of course, you can write that in whatever form you prefer or whatever form my math lab asks you to write that in. So you can write that in matrix notation. You can write that in terms of just variables, a system of equations. So whatever form it asks for, pay attention to that on written homework or written test or quiz. I don't, I don't care. You can leave it in this form or you can write it back in the form of a system of equations if you want. All right, so uh, there's another video which has a triple eigenvalue, so repeated three times. So be sure you watch that also for kind of how to handle that if you have uh, one that occurs three times with multiplicity three. You've just got kind of some more steps in this part of the problem. So be sure to watch that one also.